Hey everyone, welcome back to Medieval Engineers. Uh, so we were working on this cathedral last episode, and I have been slaving away at it off camera. And we should be able to finish up most of it, if not all of it, at the end of this episode. There has been a fair amount of work done, and I hope you guys like the progress. Mainly, uh, we finished up this facade. It has a nice carved front now. It has uh, a bunch of little carved away sections all the way up into this bell tower like effect. It has its own little roofing. So those towers turned out pretty nice. On the inside, I have been I widened this area. I didn't like how low it was. Eventually I'm going to turn off my rotate block tool and see if it breaks my game. And that way I can fix the roofing here. Because this really shouldn't be like this to begin with. Um, if not, if I can't fix it, then you, you can see we'll do just the wooden beams and window. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, but it's really not ideal. So I did that on all four of these. These are just missing the wooden beams, but I have gone back in and changed the supports around a little bit. But the main thing I have been working on is in this area. Uh, it's obviously progressed a lot. There's so many supports being made. Uh, Doing this in a survival setting, I think, would be a great challenge, and then also a great reward because you know that you know you, you took the the really hard route in building this. Me having a flying mode and I have structural integrity turned off, I mean, it makes this really easy. But you know, in, in a full survival setting, if someone managed to get together with a bunch of people to farm enough stone and like build scaffolding and like do all of this. Fucking Jesus Christ. I, I couldn't even imagine. So, obviously I've been building up on the walls a lot in these areas. Uh, following the same pattern as the main hallway. Uh, this gets a little bit more complicated just because we have to do this 90 degree turn. And trying to figure out how to fit all the arches and make it work. Was a bit of a challenge, but we got it done. Uh, window placement, of course. Everything is still structurally sound, as I blind you guys with a solid color green. We're starting to get a little yellow, which has me worried about the main tower. Once we have that built, how it's going to hold. Uh, most of the yellow is down here where the facade was, but I don't think this will change much in color when we start working on this end, but this this green, yellow, yellow, green uh, will definitely start feeling a lot of stress as we start building upwards on this section here. And this is definitely the main goal for this episode and I'm going to be recording kind of this in general. And I'm going to try and keep this as light as possible, which is why I'm going to be using a lot of archways, doorways, things like that. I don't want to have a lot of solid stone structure on it. And then I think at this point, we're going to bring it in and maybe just do a single oh broke the corner there yeah doing this in survival uh, building supports and having those supports be structurally sound without taking down the building I don't know how supports are going to work in the game in that sense but I hope it's not 
too much of a drain. As you can see, we're kind of doing a nice cross pattern there. Uh, we're definitely gaining some weight. When I put the roof on, it'll be kind of the final test for everything here. Then we do this, and let's do something like that. If I had the additional roofing pieces, this would kind of cone in and look a whole lot nicer than it does now. Oh, I don't know if I even want to add these things. I don't I think they're just making it weaker rather than stronger. So let's check this. Obviously, we're turning a little yellow. Let's just go ahead and put the cap on it. I don't think that looks too bad. I wish it, I, I wish I could make it just one, maybe two blocks taller in this lower section. But if I did, it it wouldn't be able to hold its weight up. In fact, the whole thing right now is just, it doesn't look too good in terms of structural integrity. Hopefully. Hopefully we can keep it standing. So there's been a lot of pillar work and pillar work kind of takes a while to do. Doing all these variations of structures kind of on top of each other. Bit of a hassle. Just a bunch of little layers for cathedrals. Uh, just a bunch of little layering of arches and vaulting. And that'll give it its strength in the real world. I don't know how well it translates to the video game. This might end up being a structure that will never really have structural integrity. Or it might become a challenge to where we just say hey we want to you know build it as best as we can while keeping it as big as we can so figure it out um, that's something totally doable let me get rid of this Buttressing, of course, is important. We have an okay amount. I don't know if I want to somehow put buttressing on this and like wrap it down the spine, if that'll even work. So on 
on the other side, we have it kind of both ends of this, which would be good to do. And then same here and there. Again, due to the rotational mod that I have, I don't have a roof tile for these. Uh, they are in the game, but I'm going to test that here shortly to see if that just ruins my game, because sometimes we'll just get an error saying blocks are missing from the save. Uh, would you like to continue? And when you hit yes, things are just breaking. It is fairly dark on the inside really want to try and stay outside as much as possible and add that support for our roof Here we go. Roofing, of course, is very heavy. And something you have to be very mindful of. In fact, if anywhere, this is where things are going to start turning very red on us. Again, missing the roof piece for this. It's really annoying. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on as much of the roof as I can and we'll come back and I'll kind of give you guys a final status report and then I think we'll go from there all right everyone so this is kind of gonna wrap up the episode I turned off the block rotation tool or mod per se and it allowed me to place uh, the missing roof tiles just fine um, but when I started to try and place other blocks, uh, that's when I started running into issues in my game where it's crashing. And so I had to actually re-enable that mod to work on the build. And so what I'm going to have to do is, when I need these roofing tiles, I'm going to have to turn off the mod, place the roofing tiles, and then come back into the game with the mod enabled. Um, you know, I mean, it's early access, guys. I, mean, I, I can't complain too much about it. But it's just a pain to deal with. Uh, if, if I had to guess, it, it, it just comes down to the block ID and how they register for the game right now. So, yeah, I think that I'm, I'm going to be finishing working on this for today. Uh, I, I put a couple hours into it, and then we still have a couple hours to go on the back end and get that all finished. But as you can see, even with the roofing on, we, we start getting into the yellow oranges, but we're fine. Uh, structural integrity will work. Uh, from the inside, it does get a little dark. Not all the torches are in. But I think it looks pretty nice. If you want to point out how there's wooden roofing uh, and how it doesn't make sense and that's not how they would do it, that would be correct. But in the game, it's lighter than stone. And so if I wanted to do stone arches up there, it would make the, the structure a lot more heavy and would create actually structural integrity issues and so that's why we're using just the wooden uh, supports so yeah I think it's turning out 
fairly nice, uh, especially the the tall. Uh, not a dome. This one isn't a dome. Usually they're either a dome or, and uh, and say Florence, Italy, the the du the Duomo, is is a uh, almost like an egg shape because they kind of forgot the dome technology uh, that the Romans had. So this one's just more of a spire type cathedral, and I think I'm gonna have to leave it at this. So thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, feel free to subscribe. Uh, next episode, this will be finished, and we might talk about what we're going to be building next. And, yeah, thanks for watching.